This next story out of Hoover might be welcome news to anyone who's experienced a dropped cell phone call. The city is not only addressing the nuisance of dropped calls, they're now working to make a modern day problem a thing of the past. CBS 42 News reporter Robert Sherman has been speaking with city leaders. He's live in Hoover tonight. Robert, what are they saying? Well, Jack, dozens of these small cell towers have been installed around the city to help address coverage gaps in cell service. But as Hoover City Councilor Mike Shaw explains, it's not just about making sure our phones work today. It's also about setting the city up to excel tomorrow. It seems like whenever you have a downtime, you're on your phone, um, getting the news. Or Bobby Buchanan is one of the millions of Americans who uses her phone every day. But she's also experienced that white knuckling pain of being unable to use it as well. It's very frustrating when it drops out and um, you don't have service. If you drive around the city of Hoover, you may have noticed these poles popping up all over the place. As Hoover City Councilman Mike Shaw explains, they're called small cell towers. These old towers are getting overwhelmed, particularly in areas of, of high traffic like we see in Hoover. And so they're deploying the small cells to kind of cover and, and make up the difference for, for the capacity. Shaw estimates that there are over 80 of these in Hoover right now, bolstering the signals of various carriers. But the move isn't just about improving connectivity. It's also about setting the city up for the future. You've probably seen one of these commercials talking about the new 5G cell service that is in the process of being rolled out. Shaw claims that these small cell towers will make Hoover primed and poised to take advantage. It, it's fiber optic speeds through the air going right to your phone, the Internet of Things, smart cars, all these things we hear about are all going to rely on this 5G technology. So we wanted to make sure that Hoover was, a, Hoover was the first to get 5G. For everyday cell phone users like Bobby Buchanan, well, that's awesome. Uh, the news you know, is exciting. I don't think cell phones are going away. They're going to be more and more. And so uh, the better the service, be very helpful. And Councillor Shaw tells me that the city is in a position to keep adding these small cell towers at a rapid pace. And by the second quarter of 2020, they could have over 100 of these towers in the city. Reporting live in Hoover, Robert Sherman, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.